the name of NASA's space program, Apollo, according to the Holy Bible, is actually an alternative word for the devil. We can see this in the Bible as the word Apollyon. Apollyon appears as the name of Satan in the original text of the New Testament Gospels. Like Christopher Columbus and many explorers before them, Armstrong and Aldrin used a flag to claim territory for their monarch. Upon their return, NASA space program manager Kenneth Kleinecht invited the Apollo crew to a secret Masonic ceremony which saw Kleinecht's brother be appointed to the sovereign grand commander and titular head of all Scottish Rite Masons throughout the world. Once you learn the occult significance of words such as Apollo, Columbia and Atlantis, you will realize that the occultically inspired murdering Nazis who developed NASA's space program have used names which are part of ritual, magic and the occult. On the dark side of the moon, the secret face of our satellite planet, which only a few men in living history have ever seen, there lies a star-shaped crater called Parsons Crater, named after the rocket scientist John Parsons. John Parsons is known by several names. He was born under the name Marvel Whiteside Parsons and soon became involved in the occult. Charles Taze Russell, who invented the Jehovah's Witness movement in America, predicted that the beginning of the end of the world would commence on October 2nd, 1914. On this very day, rocket scientist John Parsons better known in occult circles as Jack Parsons, was born. A brilliant rocket engineer, Parsons soon entered into correspondence with SS Nazi officer Werner von Braun, and by the age of 13 had begun summoning evil spirits and demons using magical rituals which Parsons had learnt from British occultist Alistair Crowley. Alistair Crowley styled himself as the Beast and Jack Parsons referred to Alistair Crowley as his father. Grand Master of the Priory de Sion, Jules Verne had written several books which strongly influenced the mind of the young Jack Parsons. In 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, Jules Verne prophesied the invention of a submarine vehicle which could wage war from the depths of the oceans. In newspaper reports read by the young Jack Parsons, he saw German U-boats launching futuristic torpedoes traveling under the sea and causing death and chaos. Young Jack Parsons wrote in his journal that if the French author Jules Verne's submarine was a tangible possibility, then why not the rocket ship which traveled to the moon and back in Verne's other books? For most of Jack Parsons' adult years, he was an adept of occultism and a distant disciple of Alastair Crowley. When Crowley visited California and gave the go-ahead to form a new chapter of his OTO, Satanic Secret Society, it was Pasadena, the hometown of Parsons, which was chosen. 
Jack Parsons developed and patented several liquid and solid fuel rocket engines. His patented designs are still being used to this day on intercontinental ballistic missiles such as Polaris and the Space Shuttle. The Polaris nuclear missiles use Parsons rocket technology which has a pentagram shaped void impressed into the solid rocket fuel to aid faster burning. Parsons also patented an acid aniline mix which was used on the first generation of Titan nuclear missiles used to deliver deadly warheads and also used for high level atmospheric tests. Coincidentally, Jack Parsons' occult mentor, the British beast Alistair Crowley, used to often call himself the nickname Titan. On April the 15th, 1942, Parsons demonstrated a plane powered by two liquid fuel rocket boosters at Edwards Air Force Base. The test was witnessed by Alfred Ledding, who fronted the US military's Project Sign, which investigated UFOs and helped cover up the phenomenon for decades. <laughs> Jack Parsons revered the English Satanist Alistair Crowley and eventually became the leader of one of Crowley's secret cults called the OTO. The OTO or Ordo Templi Orientalis claims descent from the Bavarian Illuminati which had been revived by Adam Spartacus Weishaupt on May 1st 1776 and had approximately 2,000 members in Masonic lodges in London, Paris, Copenhagen, Amsterdam, Munich and Ingolstadt. The Illuminati was essentially controlled by European, Germanic, Jewish aristocrats who sought to replace the church, government system and national identity of nations with an Illuminati controlled superstate. The Illuminati was eventually outlawed in Europe and the founders fled to America. They then fragmented their maverick secret society into fraternities operating from the campuses of Yale, Harvard and Princeton. From his pulpit in Brooklyn, New York, charlatan priest Charles Taze Russell prophesized that from October the 2nd, 1914, the beginning of the end of humanity would commence, with the emergence of the Antichrist and Babylon the Great, as foretold in the Bible's book of Revelation. Jack Parsons, born on that prophetic day, would later attempt to invoke the incarnation of Babylon and also sign an oath stating that he was indeed the Antichrist. <laughs> 